Hi there and welcome back to Korea, where I still am, outside of Mini Stop. And today I'm going to be checking out the new Bish Song Distance that just came out yesterday. Um, and so far they've been rather polarizing. At first, the first few songs I heard by them weren't particularly experimental. I just thought, well, they're just a normal pop group with maybe a bit of a bad attitude. <laughs> um, and, you know, then recently I've heard some much more experimental stuff. So I'm really enjoying the fact that everything they do seems to be so polarizing. However, this new song looks like it's from their um, more calmer school of... Uh, school of uh, music it does seem when they do stuff which is more normal and conventional they're just really good at it and when they do stuff that's more experimental they really really put a lot of effort in so i haven't been disappointed by anything by bish even if i don't always like the songs they're always interesting so anyway here's distance let's go let's give it a bit of volume moody It's a very dark video because I'm getting a lot of uh, reflection on the lens. I really love the colour palette. It's very sort of washed out but quite colourful at the same time. Feels like we're building up to a big pop chorus though, so let's see how that goes. I've got to admit, I'm pleased at the sort of rock feel of that. It's, it's much more rock than I expected and it just sounds really good. A lot of credit for the production actually, because I mean, one of the things that really stands out is with the beat, the sort of clicking snare almost. It's really almost percussive, the snare, and it really helps break it up so it doesn't just sound like too generically rock. <laughs> It's a good chorus anyway, but you really feel the rhythm in the chorus, so which I think is down to the production, which is fantastic as well. Subtle, but it really works. But yeah, good song as well, great melody, loving the chorus, loving the build-up. It's got a lot of mood, as you'd expect from them. Good stuff. That's a beautiful shot. Okay, yeah, that's a really interesting one. Um, in a lot of ways, I guess you could say that isn't particularly surprising and that it follows a lot of the qualities that... Um, I love when the WAC logo comes up, because, yeah, WAC. I, I know that they know WAC, basically. 
is a derogatory term and they're using the upside down McDonald's thing. But anyway, it just, it, yeah, it's cool. Anyway, sorry, back to what I was saying. Um, the, uh, I am surprised they're on AVEX. I didn't know they were on AVEX, but anyway, where was I going with this? I keep on interrupting myself. So it's interesting. It looks like they've invested a lot into that. It took me a quite a while actually to work out whether that was a CGI statue or whether they'd actually gone to the effort of like making some sort of framework and making it look like it was a, um, you know, making something look real. Um, but either way, I mean, a lot of money was clearly, inv clearly invested in that video and it looked beautiful. It looked really well done. The color palette was fantastic. The direction was great. As usual, the mood, uh, even in their more, um, I don't want to say generic, but their more radio-friendly songs like this, um, the mood really comes across. They convey it well on their faces. They have a good sort of skill for acting their music as well as just performing it. And um, there was a good sort of choreography and everything. But on the core value, the song was actually very good. And this is an interesting one because, like I say, this, I know this is from their more non-experimental side. This is not the side where they're trying to, um, you know, trying to push any boundaries like the sort of screeching sound we were talking about in Am I Frenzy or the one that I actually conversely really liked, which I can't remember the name of. It was in Japanese, but it was something to do with death. Basically, it was like it translates as like, finally, I'm dead or something. Anyway, um, they have an experimental side which is pushing boundaries and this clearly wasn't that but at the same time again as i say even when they do things that are not trying to push you they push themselves to do a good job of it um the producers stepped in and did something fantastic there because on the core of it that's a kind of a standard um generic well, i don't want to say gen again i don't want to sound like i'm being critical when i'm not but it you know the the actual song itself is pretty straightforward you know you've got a uh, nice twangy sort of riff happening in the verses you've got the big chorus but the production was beautifully done all of the guitar sounds were nice the guitars were powerful but not overpowering the drums were fantastically done like i said a sort of clicky um snare sound which kind of kept everything very rhythmic it felt much more kinetic than it would have been if you just had a standard four on the floor style boom -ch, boom -ch drum line um which uh, if you think about it a lot of bands have done songs like that where they've gone for a very straight drum line i'm thinking of things perhaps and again don't take offense to this but stuff like you know the killers the killers a lot of their songs had the similar sort of tonal approach to this obviously not vocally but in the guitars and everything and yet it didn't have the personality, rhythm, and detail that something like that had. Sorry, Killers fans, they have got some good songs. Not a big favourite of mine, though, if I'm honest. But that is an example of how to really make a song a winner by looking at the details. Also, the vocal performances always were fantastic. Um, I am starting to notice that some of the singers I like more than others. I think it was in, um, again, I'm really bad at remembering song names, the one about following stars or something. Uh, the one where there's the girl running the school girl running throughout the entire video um that one was particularly special because i think that's the one where they b have best used their voices it was like each singer was positioned perfectly to accent a different part of that song this one they, you know they, they had their different parts some of the vocals i like more than others i'm not going to say which one's which because i might incur some wrath and it's just an opinion thing but basically all of the vocal performances were good and distinct and individual so basically there's not really anything to dislike about that i mean like i said i mean the only thing you could really have a go at and this isn't having a go at at all it's just okay nitpicking is to say okay maybe it's not um pushing any boundaries but it's obvious from the get-go that's the whole point i think you guys mentioned to me before that i think they did two mini albums recently one was deliberately experimental and one was deliberately not and this might actually be from one of them this i i i think i'm safe in saying is clearly from that side of things if not that record which is not pushing to be experimental and so considering that's part of the remit of the song then it's fantastic it does that job perfectly um it takes a simple radio friendly idea plays on the details and does it fantastically it's quintessentially everything you'd want from them and from you know the qualities that japanese pop often has individual identity and yet still ticking the boxes of being a good pop song so i really enjoyed that um Will I go back to it? Yes. Is it my favourite Bish song? Probably not, because I am actually really enjoying the experimental stuff. Even, like I say, the Am I Frenzy, which, like I say, is probably the song I'd least likely go back to. I am just very... Because there's lots of groups who do stuff like this, the stuff that really makes me say, I want to listen to Bish right now, is their experimental stuff. Because it's kind of in... You know, when you do anything unique and experimental, you kind of end up putting yourself into a, a, a league of your own. Well, maybe not a league, but a space of your own. You, you make a, a, a more irreplaceable thing 
um, whether it works or not. So when I do listen back to Bish, I tend to listen to more of those songs. But if I was listening to more of a sort of general J-pop list, this would definitely be on there. Good song, beautiful video, really well done. Um, so yeah, good stuff, good stuff. And um, again, I'm always looking forward to hearing more Bish. They haven't really let me down. Like I say, even with the songs that I don't like as much, I still appreciate them, but just because they seem to be able to... It's like, uh, you know, when uh, in school tests, the teacher says, show you're working. Because even if you get the result wrong, and I'm not saying wrong just by my opinion, even if you get the result wrong, if the teacher can see you basically did it right and that the effort was there, that's worth more almost. And that's kind of my thinking as, as someone who's a, a creator who I most of the time, you know, up until starting doing this channel on the radio show before, basically my whole thing's been making music and making music for myself and with other artists. I appreciate when I can see something that's got creativity in it. And they have got that. Um, they got that by bucket loads, even as an idol group. They might be the anti-idol group, but we know they're formed like an idol group. They've just got creativity by the bucket loads. So I can't wait to hear more. But anyway, for now, from Korea, a ciao.